When we think of great hymns, the images that come to mind are huge choirs in majestic churches with thundering organs, or maybe a small rural congregation, people with hymnals in their hands singing in unison to the Lord. But one thing that we probably never think about when it comes to the great hymns is cowboys. But there was one very colorful singing cowboy from the golden age of Hollywood westerns who wrote one of the most beautiful hymns of hope that was ever penned. This was quite a surprise because even though this cowboy was the son of a Methodist preacher, he seemed to have turned his back on all the values that he'd been taught. Starting in 1931, Stuart Hamblin could be heard every week on the radio as Cowboy Joe. Then over the next 21 years, he would host three more very popular radio shows, The Covered Wagon Jubilee, Stuart Hamblin and his Lucky All-Stars, and The Cowboy Church of the Air. Stuart also began to appear in motion pictures alongside such legendary names as Gene Autry, Roy Rogers, and John Wayne. He also has the distinction of being the very first musical artist signed by a fledgling record company called Decca Records, which would become one of the titans of the music industry. But it wasn't completely smooth sailing for this silver screen and radio crooner. During the early days of Stewart's career, he began to drink pretty heavily, and his behavior also deteriorated. According to people in the entertainment industry who he knew at the time, Stewart never reached the same heights as Autry or Rogers or Wayne or any of the other popular Western stars due to the fact that he'd kind of become known as a liar and a cheat. And he was unreliable because of his almost nightly drinking and carousing. But in 1949, Stewart met an evangelist by the name of Billy Graham. He was struck by the evangelist's personality and his spirit, and his caring, and he even encouraged his listeners to attend the Billy Graham Crusades. After some not-so-gentle prodding from his wife, Susie, Stewart also agreed to attend a few nights of the crusade. During this time, God began to knock on his heart, and eventually, he surrendered his life to the Lord. After that, Stuart Hamblin's life began to take on a very different tack. He stopped drinking and worked very hard to atone for his past bad behavior to his peers in the entertainment industry. And in the early 1950s, Stewart demonstrated what it means to cowboy up and stand for what you believe in. His radio show was in national syndication, and when his sponsors tried to force him to allow his commercial spots to be used to sell alcoholic products, well, due to his newfound faith and his history with alcohol and his seeing other friends with alcoholic issues, Stewart refused. Due to his passionate, unwavering stance, his show was canceled. But the new Stewart just took it in stride. He even became a presidential candidate, heading the Prohibition Party ticket, and losing quite badly, of course, to Dwight D. Eisenhower in 1952. Then Stewart began exploring a new passion. He turned his musical talent to serving the Lord and writing gospel songs, penning It Is No Secret What God Can Do, as well as Teach Me, Lord, to Wait. Then in 1958, while reading his Bible, Stewart lingered over 1 Corinthians 4, 2 through 5, reflecting on the message to wait for the Lord, wait for Him to return and bring light to what is hidden in darkness. He then picked up his pen and began to write a song about staying faithful and joyous in a world that seems so dark and foreboding at times. 
in what would become a timeless, beloved hymn. This singing cowboy reminds us all that as we ride the long, hard trail through the world below, we should always keep a song in our hearts. And what we are pressing toward as we ride is a beautiful, eternal home. Until then, by Stuart Hamblin. My heart can see When I pause to remember A heartache here Is but a stepping stone Along the path That's always winding upward this troubled world is not my final home, but until then, my heart will go on singing. Until then, with joy I'll carry on. Until. God calls me home The things of earth Will dim and lose their value If we recall They're borrowed for just a while And things of earth that caused this heart to tremble Remember there They will only bring a smile So until then My heart will go on singing Until then With joy Until the day God calls